That's how we start the episode. And damn it, I forgot my notebook. I wanted to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again with this kid. It was 50 years ago when Luffy told me about his dream. Oh, and I like this. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yo, wait. Am I that... Wait, man, that... That's gonna be unique. Because I've seen pictures, of course, I mean, who... Who doesn't watch One Piece or, or seen One Piece pictures? But I, how is he gonna fight... With... Three Swords? What happened to your jaw, dude? Wait, we're we're Martin. Thank you. The Fire Nation. Oh. Uh, uh, Oh. Okay. Okay. So that means that we're gonna meet other people who have eaten the devil fruits. Wow. Cool. <laughs> you know, so much for a marine, my guy. Yeah, this fighting style, my guy. What that mouth do? How do you have a? How do you? Uh, how is he talking? <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, I gotta. Okay. Yo, I like this. I like how each character has their own dreams. You know, they're all following their own, you know, path. I guess. Wow. <laughs> My dude looks like he's about to have an aneurysm. But if, um, you know, the, this, the sentimentality here is huge. Fighting the establishment, especially the military, even though it's corrupt, it's still illegal. You're about to make yourself, oh, okay, you're about to make yourself an enemy of the state. <laughs> so I wonder if this will go far. I mean, obviously, the show has freaking gone far. But, I mean, storyline-wise, you know, I like to think, you know, too much, logically, you know, but whatever. What the hell was that? He 
you just pull a cami from Street Fighter? Whoa, wait. Wait, what do, what do you got? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. That is against the the animation code or whatever. You can't point a gun at someone. Holy shit. Wait. Wait. Yo, can you imagine if he, like, dies? Ah! Maybe, maybe, maybe if I was part of the show, I probably would have killed him in the third episode. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I'm like, how did Luffy hit him? Ooh, double team. Cap. Cap. Whoa. Just like that? They homies? I mean, he did kind of... Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. He did kind of say, hey, if I never become the great swordsman or some shit, I gotta write notes. Verbatim. I already forgot what he said. I didn't forget! You just don't look at me like that! I, I, I remember his stuff. I just can't quote it right. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, I mean, he's gotta be exhausted. He's been there for like, days. <laughs> Which is ironic, because I'm home. Oh, look. Baby girl. Yo, she is more of a pirate than Luffy! What is she looking for? Huh? Oh! She's found a safe. Oh. She just opened this. Wow. It's just, how. How lucky that it was already open. Uh. Buggy? Oh. Oh. Okay. Buggy. Kind of name is Buggy. <laughs> Jeez, you haven't met that man, me people. Where's your dad? Oh, you don't have one. Ooh. <laughs> wow. So you and I are what amounts to an entire pirate group. What's wrong with that? A couple of strong guys. Okay. Please tell me you have a ship. Sure do. Right there. Oh. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Well, I have a feeling eventually we're going to get there. 
Maybe. Probably some shit that after 900 episodes he still doesn't have a ship. <sighs> <laughs> wow, I, I, I'm very impressed with, with the logic of these characters. Yeah. Luffy. We appreciate everything you did to save our town from that horrible pirate who terrorized us all for so oh. long. However, now that we know that you're pirates, as Marines, we cannot sit idly by and watch you go about your business. Therefore, you and your crew will need to leave this town Damn. But out of respect for what you've done, we will not come yeah, I mean, headquarters. Courtesy. Yeah, but uh, it is the law. <laughs> oh, is she gonna stay behind? Oh, the choices. Be a pirate or be a marine? He's gonna say that he was stopping her, right?
Okay, I get it. He was trying not to give him the stigma of being a pirate. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I'm like, if you want to do something, you got to do it. Do you want to be a seaman? Tell him your story, bro. Hey. to worry about that little boy anymore. <laughs> it's like uh, when Ash releases Butterfree. It's like, you're on your own now. Bye. We have 900 other episodes to, to adventure without you. I wonder when we'll see him again. If ever. Oh, that's just... It's a nightmare. Yeah, I bet. Did you promise? You promise your daddy? Oh, okay. I guess he, he promised someone. Yay. Adventure. <laughs> All right, uh, cool, interesting uh, third episode. Um, some good, I guess, story moments there of learning the, about the dragon fruits. Um, I wish they delve into it a little bit more. I was hoping that, uh, like the dragon fruit, it, or not the dragon fruit. What am I saying? The devil fruits, right? 
um, that it, it's it's the person, the in, individual. Like, let's say uh, Luffy ate it and he got the gum gum ability, but let's say Zoro would have eaten the same fruit. He would have got a different ability. Maybe it's genetics. Maybe it's something. I don't really know how to speculate it. Uh, the way the Marine guy said it, whatever, he talked about how it's otherworldly. So I wonder if that comes into play. Is this crazy alternative universe shit? I know it's weird to speculate with a show that has like almost a thousand episodes, but I like to do that. I'm a little disappointed in learning that this world only has two oceans. Like, how big or how small this world is, you know? Especially with its vast storytelling, you know? Um, how are we gonna, um, like, map this, this world when, you know, they said there's, there's at least a, a, a border of, of mass, I guess, whatever, country, whatever, uh, that separates the oceans. Like, what about the other continents and stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure there's a shitload of islands and, and the, how the world, I don't know. It's just, when you tell me something like that, it makes me feel like, oh man, this world is really small, you know, but whatever. So it looks like a little crew at the moment of Luffy and Soro are going to the red line, uh, where Goler, uh, Gold guy, I forgot, I forgot his name already. The King of the Pirates or whatever, you know, he, he supposedly left One Piece there. And then you have that other girl who's sort of in the background stealing shit and stuff. So our characters haven't met her yet. And apparently Luffy has released Kobe. I'm going to throw in my Pokemon references uh, every now and then. Um, I wonder when we'll see this character again. How much will he evolve? Uh, how much will Luffy evolve by the time we meet up with him again, you know? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Oh, also, another thing to, like, like note down is I like how Soro discuss about, like, yeah, alright, uh, damn it, Luffy, you made me do something that I didn't want to do, which was fight the Marines, and now I am a criminal, you know, so fuck it, I'll be a pirate, you know. I, I like how Sora confronted him, like, yo, uh, I'll tag along because fuck it, I'm a criminal now. He has his own reasoning for the, his madness or whatever. He's willing to join Luffy's pirate crew only for the sake of becoming the greatest swordsman ever. And I like how he said that he, if he were to ever fail at becoming a swordsman, it would be on Luffy's head or, or whatever. And, uh, it, it almost makes me think, like, what if we ever get to that point? What if Soro fails at it? What if Soro dies? Which is unlikely. But let's say something like that ever gets there. You know, let's say we ever do get there. Are we ever going to get a moment like that where Luffy, I don't know, can get mentally warped and be like, yo, look at all this pressure I got to take in. I have my own dreams. And then... These motherfuckers have their own dreams, you know? And I, you know, failure and shit. I don't know. I don't know. Could, could we ever get there? I don't know. Or maybe our characters never lose and shit, so... I don't know. It's, it's really weird to speculate on a show that has a thousand fucking episodes. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> so, alright, that about wraps up my video. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.